Lord Vader, the results are in. One, you have sleep apnea. You gotta get that checked out. Two, you are not the father. Oh, welcome to Night Blog. So tonight, Keebs. Vlad? We Me are Keebs? Go- You're Keebs. Me Keebs. Vlad. Ah. We know Kevman. Play Battlefront. Russia. We are going to play Battlefront. Hmm. Star we're Wars. Going- we're going to challenge each other. The walls are in the stars. The bu- bubble mask. I wish I could match the reference, but I can't right now. My, ra- my brain's blank. That's okay. That's Scoot on by. Scoot on by. Left lane. So we are going to play Battlefront. With this ATT crossing by. We're going to challenge each other tonight. Challenge. In it's hero battle. Acceptable. Hero mode. Now, mode for heroes? Mode for heroes. Hero versus hero. Villain? Mono y mono. You want to start off as a villain? I don't care. You want to? You know what? Here. Rock, paper, scissors for it. You ready? Rock, One, two, three, shoot. <laughs> One, two, three, shoot. All right. Ah. You get to be. I have read and I accept the license agreement. I don't care. Missions. You didn't read that. Probe droids. Why does this go? So, hero battle. Uh-huh. You, you're you starting off. You're the villain. Um, I'm going to choose. I uh, battle, you know, do I go on Hoth? And or... Well, I think we both agreed that uh, Empire is our favorite. So let's so go, let's to, just, let's just go to, to Hoth. Let's go to Hoth. Hoth. Split screen versus me. I think, did you press X there? Player two? I, I continue. <laughs> you accepted for me. I accepted. <laughs> okay, go ahead and hit it. That's how, okay, so many buttons we have to press. All right, so you, you're the Empire. Yeah, I don't want to be Organa. What do you mean you don't want to be Organa? I don't want to be Organa. You don't want to be Organa? I hate things that are organic. I love things that are organic. I want GMOs, I, dang I, it. I, I, I love... The Grandmaster Ortox. I love my false advertising. What's that? This, it's not, not... Never mind. <laughs> I don't know how to explain myself without offending those who are strictly organic mm. people. I mean, I'm an organic person. Yeah. Of course, yes. I, you I am, are. I, am I, made I of, see you. I am made of crude matter. I am made of organs. Organs. All right. Speak, speaking of or- Organa, I'm, I'm going to be Princess Leia Organa. Okay. Who's uh, organic. No I GMOs would. for her. Oh, look at her. Wait. Her voice isn't terrible. No, that not bad. Okay. Wait. That's pretty bad. Did you did you know? No. The the original um, the guy in the suit for Darth Vader. Yeah. What what he would do, uh, when he found out that his voice is replaced, uh, he got mad. So for Empire Strikes Back, he'd just speak gibberish. Are you serious? He'd be in there like, <laughs> and then like Mark Hamill would have to respond to it. You know if, that was it, there was you know a time where we were doing those videos together. Yeah. And you had me just freak out for like 10 minutes one time. When oh, yeah, for, uh, for the 12 inches tall, the Star Wars yeah, videos. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> ah, headshot. Peons. Luke. I'm your furger. So wait, if, if you're Luke's father, is that, does that make you my father too? No, you're father, Luke's daughter? girlfriend, remember? Oh. The, you know, y'all that's, that's wrong. made out and stuff. I get, But not as long as it's not in, I mean, in Tennessee it's okay, right? Tennessee? Oh. That's my guy. You're the only ten I see. <laughs> I, just, I just shot my own person in the back of the head. <laughs> oh, there you are, Dad. I get you, Dad. Excuse me? This is... Excuse oh. me? This is for not letting me date Han. <laughs> Ow. That's a nice shield you got there. This is... I feel like I'm in an episode of Cops. It's domestic violence right here. Dad's just bludgeoning, and I'm trying to shoot him. I told you, no drugs. <laughs> Don't stir my chili. <laughs> Throwback, callback, throwback. So, what is now? You and I are both Star Wars fans. We 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 got to go see Star Wars at the. Well, I think what well, you saw first showing. Yes, I the first, first non 3D showing. 3D doesn't work for me because of my dumb eye. Oh, that you have a dumb eye. I have a dumb eye. I. I don't want to have a dumb eye. I don't want you to have a dumb eye. It's very unfortunate. Well, the, the, but continue with your story. The 3D wasn't very 3D anyway. It was just pretty. It was, I mean, it was kind of three-dimensional, but it wasn't shot in 3D. Oh, there you are, Dad. But anyway, so we, we both saw opening showings. What did you think of of Episode 7? What were your thoughts? My honest thoughts? Yes. It was very, very, very good. I 
Um, I and you know, even like I could say I had problems with a thing here mm-hmm. or there, but I really didn't. I, honestly, if only if I were incredibly nitpicky, could I say that I didn't like anything about it visually or anything about it just aesthetically. Uh, or the fact that Finn could never catch his breath as a trained soldier. Um, I mean, there, there little things like that. But really, in the end, like I thought the story was phenomenal. I thought the acting was on point. Um, I loved how open they left it for interpretation. Like the the theories and everything that I've read that are slowly trickling in through books and yeah. things like that. Like I didn't experience that as much through the uh, the other trilogy that had come out. Uh, mainly because I was just young enough that I accepted it as being awesome as it was. You know, I didn't really go any farther than what I saw was what I got. But mm-hmm. this one, like, I'm I'm all about everything. You know, that I can that I can come up with just to figure out these secrets and things behind it. So it's it's been a really cool experience, I think, at this point in life. And I'm really excited that my son is going to grow up with a brand new trilogy. You know, that's really really exciting. We got to grow up with a brand new trilogy. I know that's what I mean. Is now a whole new generation gets it again, yeah. and I brought one of them into the world to experience it. <laughs> um, but how about you? What did you think of it? Oh, I, I loved it. I, I had the, the stupidest grin on my face the entire time. <laughs> I think I did too. I, I, and, uh, no, go ahead. I no, believe sorry. like right as soon as um, the a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away appeared on screen. I looked at my wife, and I told her, this is it. <laughs> and she's like, seriously? I'm like, hey, let me have this. <laughs> this is mine. This is mine. I took you to go see The Sound of Music in theaters, and that was re-released a couple months ago. This is mine. <laughs> Which, actually, that's a very good movie. But I I loved it. I thought, um, I, I told Duke, our producer back there, that J.J. Uh, J. Abrams was the best choice, and actually, in some ways, the absolute worst choice which made him the perfect choice. <laughs> no, I agree. And there were, like, I think that there's something J.J. has that George didn't, and it's incredible uh, heart. And when the things with Poe Dameron kind of uh, foreshadowing the events of what was going to happen with Ben and Han, mm-hmm. like, is so magical to me. Spoilers. Just, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, uh, I didn't say much. Yeah. Um, and you can cut that out if you want. I just beep it like I said a swear. Um <laughs> Uh, no, but when that happened, like, I remember thinking back to when he did Star Trek, and the first five minutes, like, had me completely wrecked. You remember that? Yes. Like, and, and I was like, you know what? He's just got something that other people wish they did, that he can just connect so quickly with these characters we didn't know until now, and we immediately, like, need them to be okay. We need them to yeah. be a part of, you know, the story for us. He, he immediately made them, he, we immediately felt like, all right, this is a Star Wars character. Yeah. This isn't just some, some person that we're going to fill in. I'm like, yeah, that's, this is a Star Wars character. Yeah. And I, the minute Poe Dameron is on screen, I'm like, I, I, I like this guy. I'm, I'm down with um, uh, Oscar Isaac. I believe yeah. Was the actor's name. Like, I, I want to see more of him. I got to be honest. Why can't I use this uh, emplacement turret? I mean, it's mine. Uh, is it just am I too good for a placement turret? Probably. Vader, get down off your high horse, get your inhaler, and hop on the freaking turret. <laughs> Why are your stormtroopers running around in circles away from me? You know what? It's because they're effective. That's called <laughs> the spherical formation. <laughs> they're, they're just... I just got killed by a lowly poo poo. <laughs> <laughs> I've been killed by lowly poopoos myself. I, I mean, it was a Rodian, but I call him a poopoo. <laughs> <laughs> I had a. Did you ever play uh, Galaxies? Star Wars Galaxies? No. The on the uh, MMO. I had a Rodian on there, and his name was Flajamoop Jumaboop. <laughs> 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 and my friend was Wooker the Wookie. Dude, your your guys are working me over. Yeah. Uh, no. Ow. You win. Veda. Was defeated. Okay, let's be honest. Uh, <laughs> Vader would win. Yeah, it's, it's that's true. Vader would win. I mean, but I also don't think that he would have it in him to go through with that, to well, kill Leia in the end. Maybe. I mean, if he doesn't know, what does he care? He killed children. You think you wouldn't know? No. I mean, he came face to face with her in A New Hope. Uh huh. And had no clue who she was. That's interesting. No, Just I mean, to think about like this this whole situation. Yeah. On Hoth, they meet up. And battle, you know, obviously just like this in yeah. the movie. I hope just, that, I remember that. I hope that Vader misses a lot, just, and that Leia just like sprints in and throws a shield down, and we just randomly. Kinda, yeah, that's, that's how I'd handle a lightsaber. Like, <laughs> sure, I mean that's how George Lucas had in uh, what? <laughs> which fight was it? Uh, it was the uh, one. Yeah, it was Obi Wan versus uh, Anakin, where they just. <laughs> and then, for, for and a couple then, seconds and then the, the disco ball comes down yeah and... <laughs> that's that's how i remember that yeah. scene okay let's do you as a villain okay so i'm gonna be the villain so we're gonna play tatooine okay 
Tattooing, tattooing, tattooing. Tatini! Tatini! All right. Boba mask. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna do the boba. Boba bat. Boba bat. Boba bat. Now they actually did they get the original actor? I mean, not the original. He he rest in peace. He yeah, died actually. Right. But um, yes, they Jan did. It's terrifying. Yeah, the Django <laughs> Fett. Uh, yeah, actor. I think they did. And he's like the only one who's a legit voice actor in this <laughs> game. Everyone else, Lucas. Rough. Oh, we were. I was playing earlier with Duke before uh -huh. we started, and yeah, Luke is. I'm like, who? That doesn't even sound like no. Mark Hamill. Vader, you could probably yeah. get Mark Hamill to do it. Right. Galactic Empire. You know, do you want me Palpatine? No, if you're gonna be Han. Yeah, let's do. Let's do I'm Han. Be Voba. Let's do San and Voba. Boba. That's okay. That's a stupid line on this. The Ooh. things I do for. Th ah. That's pretty good. I like him. I like. I was sad when they replaced um him in Empire. I know. I was like, really? Like he had five lines. That guy's like. I know you couldn't Star Wars just gone. let him have the five. No. Like what's the? No, it's, no, of course not. Oh, I'm falling off the ship. So okay. Yeah. We've seen Star Wars. Yeah. We have our thoughts. Mm -hmm. We have our theories. Obviously, first question. I think I texted you right after we saw the movies because we didn't see in the same same theater, unfortunately. Who's Ray? Oh, who do I think Ray is? Yeah. Um, man, that's such a big question. Um, you know, Im immediately, uh, the majority of people, even outside the the theater, which I was like, you can't talk about this here. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're like, uh, they were positive that it was a, a Skywalker. Yeah. You know, and that's that's what I've that's like the only theory that I've heard that has the most credibility because it does make a ton of sense. But my opinion is, and I don't know if you agree or disagree with this, I think that she is a Kenobi. Okay. Uh, then I think that, yeah, I think you and I talked about this, and my opinion is I don't know how much influence the Jedi's who like transcended through death, you know, the ghosts, yeah, have say and like kind of helping them through making decisions and. Why in the world would they now succumb to like love or anything like that if those guys are still kind of helping them? Uh -huh. But I feel like it would make a lot more sense and be a much better story if it was a Kenobi. Yeah. Um, what do you think? Well, you know, everything like the minute she, I saw her with the uh, the helmet on, the X-wing pilot helmet. Uh -huh. I'm like, she's she's a Skywalker. Yeah. Everything is pointing to Skywalker to her origin. Um, I actually think that uh, she was being trained. By Luke with Kylo Ren. I agree with that. And yes. she was abandoned on Jakku by Luke mm -hmm. to protect her. Yes. Just like he was left on Tatooine to be protected. Um, so when I first came out, like, she's got to be a Skywalker. Everything was pointing towards her being a Skywalker. Mm -hmm. and But then when you didn't get the reveal at the end that she is, I was like, come on, really? I was hoping to get that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I remember saying to somebody, like, all right, I think she's a Skywalker, but if she's not, I want a really good reason. Like, yeah. I want a good reason. I don't... I mean, it's kind of nice to be like, anybody can have the power of the Force. I'm okay with that. But I want a really good origin and reason for her not being a Skywalker. And then when I heard the Kenobi thing, which I think is lend some credence, yeah. I'm like, that's that's a perfect alternative. Right. And I, I totally like... And, every... and there are enough parallels to Kenobi, just as there are parallels to... Luke. Right, and I think and that Anakin. if one is acceptable, then so is the other. Yeah. And so, like, for me, I totally agree. My first, my absolute first thought um, before I went with the Kenobi story was that she was just a Force-sensitive uh, daughter that they brought to Luke uh -huh. because this was before, you know, he was in hiding. And so he had Ben, and he had Rey, and he was training both of them. Then when Ben went psycho during that flashback, whatever that was, yeah. um, he kind of gave up on himself and gave up on, you know, Ben became Ren. And then I think that he dropped her off on Jakku, like you said, mm -hmm. to put her in a similar situation that he had, you know, on Tatooine, you know, being a bunch of moisture farmers. Like, it's, it's a yeah. sad life, you know, she's got to be a scrapper, but he knows that that can lead to really good things. Yeah. And so I think that he had the, the foreknowledge to do that and took her there and left, not left her for dead, you know, but left her to find her way. To seven, and eight. then I feel like exactly like you thought, she was trained by Luke. And then when he left her, you know, either her memory was wiped or whatever they did, and when she got that lightsaber, things started coming back. Yeah. Because to me, that's the only way it makes sense that she would learn the persuasion and different force techniques so quickly. Yeah. You know, not from just watching Kylo run around and do them, and she's like, oh, that's how you do it? You know? Yeah. I think that she was trained, and it came back to her. I think that's the only thing that makes sense to me. Yeah. And, um... Oh, I don't die. I just surrender. <laughs> you shot me in the heart. I, I give up. <laughs> Did you really? Jesus. My guy just sat down and surrendered. 
Well, I'm gonna collect the things then. No! <laughs> I got points. Those are mine! For you just giving up. I'm the lying. terms of surrender were that you would leave my money alone. Nope. <laughs> nope. My money. Um, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. I'll, what I'll it was. Be the next bill. What do you guys think? Oh! Han, because, like, Harrison yeah, Ford's in it. He signed up for it. He yeah. signed up. Um, I, I personally don't think he's going to be a Force Ghost, and I don't think it's going to be a flashback. Mm -hmm. It's a flashback. Uh, doesn't it, really happen. It's, it doesn't feel like Star Wars <laughs> no. to do a flashback. Yeah. I think it's going to be a recorded thing on the Falcon. It's yeah. going to be a hologram. Sure. Because I think oh, he, yeah. knew, he knew he was gonna, going to his death mm -hmm. when he went to, um, to the Starkiller base. Mm -hmm. He knew he wasn't coming back from that. So right. I think it's going to be... One last message. At least, if I was writing it, that's how I would have Harrison yeah, Ford. Yeah, I agree. Um, if it's a Force Ghost, like once again, you better have a very, very good explanation. Yes. it's got. To, you have to be very careful with that. I feel like there's going to be tactile reasons like that. Is going to be we're going to realize that's why it was delayed. I don't well, think it was. It's, getting, it's being rewritten right now. Yeah, it's, I don't think that this had anything to do with technicalities other than just story. Yeah, you know, which. I'm sad that we have to wait longer, Me too. but I'm also very okay with it. As long as it's good. Yeah. Don't mess up, Ryan Johnson. Yeah. And uh, Han. Ham Han. I won. You played a good game, though. I tried. Boba Fett, though, he just dies. So does Django. And they die like punks, let's be honest. <laughs> you know what? I like the way Django actually died. Because it makes sense. He has one blaster, he's going up against Mace Windu. Yeah. It's not a fight. But at the same time, he's a <laughs> Jedi killer. He's a hunter. Of Jedi. But he, and then he, he went out like a punk. Like, there's nothing on him. I agree, but I think there, there should have been a back and forth, you know? Yeah, he already has back and forth with Obi-Wan. That's true. And that was a good fight. I actually really like that. Yeah. I like that. Anyways, uh, the Fets are dead, and I'm not sorry. So Han. Spoilers. Oh, yeah. We're going to put a warning before this episode, because we really we went into it. Well, so. That's the point. We're talking about it. Sorry! Sweet dreams. Bye. <laughs> Speaking of bad, it's not a movie tying game. But I saw that they added PS2 games and they added Bounty Hunter. I beat that game. No cheats. Dude, that's a great game. No cheats. It is not. It is. Go, going back to it. It was God. like the Star Wars Devil May Cry. It, uh, actually, a little more whimsical, but... That, that is what 1313 was going to be. Oh. Name. But like, there's parts when you... Because I mean, it was good, but it. yeah, for its time. I remember, no, 1313 would be the improved version yeah. of that. Yeah. 1313 looked phenomenal. I would say Bounty Hunter is a precursor to, to Uncharted, actually. That's my opinion of it, hmm. but it's, it's like, there's parts when I mean, you're just trying, you're hanging, and if you want to go somewhere, like, you're trying to move up, but there's nowhere to move, just, <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh, yeah. It's just weird. Da -da -da -da. It's just weird. <laughs> there was, uh, one of my, I did, I did Vines for a minute, and there was one we got Joel in Last of Us, like, he had his, his flamethrower, for some reason when you hang up, you just go, uh, 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 yeah, uh, uh. and that was our whole Vine, and I loved it, it was one of my favorite Vines, I'll pull it up later. That's, that is, that's.